Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. Today we're going to talk about running our tests in different browsers. I'm going to show you how to take your tests and run them in other browsers outside of Firefox. So say Google Chrome or IE or Safari. Um, so let's just get into it. In my main, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this Utilities. And this is, if you already have Utilities, awesome. Uh, and this is where I'm going to put a new class. I'm going to call this Driver Factory. <clears throat> and this is where we are going to house pretty much a driver picker based on the argument we send in. So first off, let's create a new enum. And if somebody doesn't know what an enum is, uh, I recommend just taking a look at the uh, Java website and or some uh, basic Java tutorials on this. Uh, and they're called enums. We're going to call this one browser type. And then inside browser type, we're going to add the basics. So we know Firefox. We have Firefox. And this one will be Chrome. You can say Google Chrome, Chrome. I'm just going to say Chrome. For those who know how to spell, Chrome. <laughs> and later, we, you know, we can just do um, IE, um, or IE Explorer. No, IE. Uh, Safari. So here's our different browser types. And the next method I'm going to create is going to return a web driver. Uh, and we want to make this static. And Alt Enter. This will be get driver based on a browser type. And inside here, we are getting an error. Why are we getting an error? Oh, because I'm not returning anything. Uh, we're going to do a nice little switch statement. And our case will be browser type dot Firefox. And then case, oh, it's getting mad at me. Uh, we'll just break for now. Case uh, browser type dot Chrome, and we will break. And last but not least, we'll just add a default, which will do something. <coughs> um, so we have our basic, you know, switch statement. I, I'm actually going to return. Um, for Firefox, new Firefox driver. Um, because this one's already kind of part of the code. Ha! Why is it yelling at me? What? Sure. Oh. So I added a import static, so it just it makes it a, lot, a little cleaner uh, to read. The uh, and also our default's going to be Firefox as well. <coughs> Uh, still getting mad at me. Missing. Oh. Okay. Why I don't like when I do that? That's fine. So we're going to web driver, driver. Instead of returning a new, we'll say equals. That's a special case right there. Equals. And then return. Why are you still yelling at me? It is initial. It will get initialized. Equals null. There. Goodness. <clears throat> so here we go. We have. Uh, so we have Firefox. Where do you reuse that before? With Chrome, you have to actually go and download the Chrome.exe, and I'm going to put the link below um, so you can get it. I have already put it into my uh, drivers under the resources and the cool thing about doing this instead of putting it somewhere uh, around in like a um, say your machine and you wanted to go somewhere else with this code and check it out and run it there well you'd have to also put the driver the chrome driver.exe in the same place and all this stuff so putting in resources under like drivers is a great place to, to put your .exe. 
So we need to actually specify where our Chrome driver is. So we're going to do um, a quick here. We're going to go to system dot get set property set property <clears throat> and the key is web driver dot chrome dot driver and then we're gonna set our path so our root is tutorial so we want source main java res actually is it it's not java sorry resources driver chrome driver there we go then we're gonna say driver equals new chrome driver there we go we also need a break in between each of these guys here these little cases <clears throat> So now we have our driver factory. Let's go to our test. Let's go to uh, let's go to login test. It seems to be a, a fan favorite. So here we have what our driver is going to be. So instead, we're going to put in um, browser type type equals, and then whatever our whatever you want it to be and let's do Firefox first make sure it works uh, I'm actually going to add to static <coughs> type and instead we're gonna say get our driver factory that we just made and I would like to get a driver through the type we just created which is Firefox at the moment so now that we set the type now let's run this and we know it's going to work so let's go to the load page where I'll load this up run so instantiate here we go loading facebook.com perfect we knew that was going to happen because because before we fewer to use Firefox so let's try some Chrome and see if we're going to get Chrome this time tutorial source main resources driver driver chrome um ah drivers drivers okay there we go typo Always double check your work, guys. Always double check your work. Oh. Tutorial source main resources drivers Chrome driver. Did I? Is, that's right, right? Source main resources drivers drivers. Chrome driver. Do I need to, does dot exe need to be there? That'd be interesting if it does. Um, I've done it without, so there we go. Chrome. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. But it loaded up Chrome driver. Let's actually do an actual test. Let's do some. Um, filling out the uh, email field see what that does uh, put the email field so there you go so that's actually a, a quick insight of going through and, and trying to run your tests in different browsers so before we have our driver factory we have a browser types you put um, for our enums you can put all your different types here and then in our get driver it will we choose based on Firefox, Chrome, um, or down the line we can add IE or Safari. 
we have to set our property of where our drivers are located, which I'm putting it with the project. And then in your test, you just have to specify this driver, and then you call your driver factory. Um, I'm going to check this code in, and you guys can have this. It will be on the GitHub. I'll put the link down below. Until next time, guys, I'll see you online.